Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden and 2K packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable Madden and 2K coins on the market. And of course, do not forget to use code FURDY for 5% off. A link for their website is at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today, we are looking at the best budget players at each position currently here in Madden 23. By the end of today's video, we are going to have a full budget team built. So stick around. We're just going to talk about a couple budget cards, and then I'm going to build a team, hopefully for about under 2 million, a million on the offense, a million on the defense, which right now is fairly budget if you are just getting started, even though it might sound a little bit intimidating. This team should be able to allow you to hang with the best of the best right now in Ultimate Team, which is a little bit tough, obviously, but we're going to try to do that today. So first things first, we have to talk about these cards right here. If you are a budget, no money spent, or a player just getting started, and your question is, what should I do first on this game? The first thing you should do is grind the Black History Month solos. You're going to get a bunch of really top tier cards. I mean, Warwick Dunn, 96 speed. If you get all five Black History Month cards, you're able to get the 97 speed, which is for free, just insane. Also does get free evasive and free short in. Cameron Jordan, obviously a pretty solid pass rusher. Anquan Bolden, potential for 96 speed with some good abilities too. And then Golson and Shaquille Leonard are just kind of nice little bonus pieces there. But if you get all five of these cards and, you know, do all the challenges for them, do all the missions for them, they are some of the best free cards that we've seen in recent years here in Ultimate Team. So... I definitely recommend going after these guys and they will be on the team builder today. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about a bunch of different cards with a bunch of different, you know, price points depending on how much you're willing to spend. So getting started here, we have Tom Brady for about 140, 150 to play on PlayStation, somewhere in that range, but obviously Slinger 1 with pre-baked Gunslinger. For this price is really good. He obviously doesn't get as good as abilities as his 99 does, but still a pretty nice option, um, obviously. So we have Brady there for about 140. Uh, we have Aaron Rodgers as well. Rodgers, Slinger 1, able to get set feet hot route for 4 AP with his release. So sign me up on Aaron Rodgers. On that running back, we got Miles Sanders with 94 speed and free short in. And we, of course, have some combine cards, a good amount of combine cards on here. However, on the 93 overall combine cards, for whatever reason, they didn't give these guys like any discounted ability. So yeah, physically, they're really good, but they didn't give them any discounted abilities, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Next up, we have Raheem, who's a 92 overall. And again, a no discounted abilities, but pretty good for budget. As you can see right here for about 40K, 94 speed, 94 acceleration is really nice. But again, that Warwick Dunn card for free is better than all these guys by a good, by a pretty good amount, honestly. I mean, Warwick Dunn's like an S tier, low S tier, high A tier card. Next up, we have Bo Jackson for only 9,000 coins. You are going to see a lot of these super low overall ultimate legend cards get crazy physicals. They've been doing this for a while. And it does make it for some, for some pretty good budget cards. So, Bo Jackson, 94 speed for 9,000 coins? Sure, sign me up. And of course, there also is a Jamal Charles version of the legend. If you, if you prefer Jamal Charles, 95 COD, 94 speed. And the wide receiver position right now in this game for budget is pretty crazy, honestly. There's a bunch of really top tier budget wide receivers. And the first one is Jamison Williams. This card gives me so many problems. When I have 99 speed DBs, Jamison Williams still goes crazy. So, Six foot two, 96 speed for under 100K with these stats. After the catch, the card's ridiculous. I think Jamison Williams, it, like if there's a must have on throughout all these cards, I think he's number one. Like he's gotta be number one. Next up, we have Taekwon Thornton again. You know, six foot two, 96 speed, but does not get any abilities. And by the way, Jamison Williams does get deep out, <laughs> um, which is pretty nasty or short in or slot apprentice, depending on what you want to do with it, which is crazy. Even like free, like literally free mid in is like kind of nice to have there. But Taekwon, no discounted abilities. Next up, we have Quez Watkins, who's been budget for a while. He's down to 60K right now. But again, 96 speed, good acceleration, six foot, but actually does get deep out as well. So another really good deep threat there. Next up, we have another free card. That's gonna be Donnie Parham. I don't know if this one's really worth it anymore to grind for. If you have them, I mean, use them. If you're just, if you don't, if you just want to do something, I mean, you could play these solos. The card's gonna be pretty good, but when a card like this exists for literally what 9,000 coins, I don't know how worth it Donnie is. And keep in mind, Donnie does get discounted abilities, but this 87 P Mezzalars is six foot seven, 254 with 93 speed. I mean, again, I don't know. Is it worth the, you know, maybe like the two hours it takes to get Donnie? I know he's free, but it's only 9,000 coins for this card. In the middle, we of course have the Logan Thomas card. Logan Thomas, again, he's pretty close to 100K, but 94 speed with great acceleration. You see all the green here after the catch, the card's nice. He's a pretty decent run blocker for a guy who's as good as a pass catcher as he is. Six foot six, 250. 
this card's a kind of a monster and he also does get free outside apprentice which, which you know it is what it is and then he also does get short in and short out as well depending on what you think works better for your offense so those are my tight ends let's head over to defense so on defense we are going to kind of speed run this here first up montez sweat going for about 100k a really good buy still has pretty top tier speed off the edge next up jeffrey simmons um he can play defensive tackle he can play on the outside obviously he's naturally a defensive tackle it doesn't matter where you put him the reason why he is on here is because of the free defensive rally on his card for about 100k it does get some pretty decent traits over in finesse over in power moves and good tackling stats so i love this jeffrey simmons card a lot next up fletcher cox about 50k still good budget with some decent abilities um and also does get not the best traits but for his price and that's be it's definitely worth maybe looking into next up we got ghost of madden judon who again like about 100k but i do believe if you want to go a little bit more budget you could always go with this trayvon walker card who does get some good abilities i mean one ap edge threat is really nice and also does get uh, almost perfect traits his higher overall card has perfect traits this one does not but uh yeah this card looks pretty good to me i think he's probably if, if, if you're really pinching coins i would go probably go trayvon walker over the um over the judon card to be honest um obviously the judon's better but not by that much next up isaiah simmons if you do use linebackers isaiah simmons is one of the best users right now in the game still i mean maybe not one of the best like amongst all the cards in the game but you know what i mean like for budget guys uh, isaiah simmons six foot four almost 240 93 speed decent acceleration i mean yeah, yeah decent acceleration good cod good agility but it's that lurker and his size and the way the card moves and the way he can play coverage that i like about isaiah simmons uh next up we have jonathan castillas uh who i also do like he can also be a user but um you also may have gotten this card for free a lot of you guys might have him because of if you played the super bowl promo i think there was like a bnd 94 pack so jonathan castillas uh, might already be on your team but a good edge rusher with you know good tackling that's good speed six foot 225 and also like i said can be a user with that one ap lurker also does get inside stuff goal line stuff so pretty good abilities for jonathan castillas for about under 100k next up lawrence taylor i don't gotta give you the whole spiel again lawrence taylor cards are have been in this video for like three months it feels like perfect traits good speed good pass rush good against the run and still has pretty decent abilities nothing crazy but still pretty decent okay now we are into the secondary here with kaylin barnes who is six foot 96 speed 97 acceleration great physicals but again these combine cards don't get any discounted or any really abilities worth running in my opinion so kaylin barnes is gonna make the team but he's probably gonna be like a slot option because he's not getting any ko's probably one of the most broken things in the game Timmy Moreau, 93 overall, does get abilities with 96 speed, and that's going to be deep out zone KO for 2 AP, major W there for Fabian. Next up, we have Troy Apke. Uh, he might not make the team, but pretty good for budget. I mean, 95 COD, um, no thresholds, decent hit power, but 6 foot 194 speed for about 20K at corner is honestly pretty tough. Next up, we have Stingley. I don't know how worth it this one is. I mean, he does get 1 AP deep out. Uh, and what is his discounted ability? Uh, he does get pretty big pick artist. This card is actually pretty nice. Um, I might consider him. I might actually consider putting him on the team uh, over that Kalen ba over that Kalen Barnes card. I really might, just because Derek Stingley. Yeah, I think Derek Stingley makes it. Um, we also do have Calvin Johnson. So my thing with corners is I would spend a little bit more on the corners and the safeties, honestly. But I think just having Calvin on your team. I know he's a little bit slower, like you know, speed wise, but he's still six foot five and still does get good abilities with deep out zone KO or you know deep route KO or pick artist. I think if you are rocking with a budget team, definitely be running zone coverage because it's hard to find good man guys to match these super fast receivers. So if you are someone that is running budget, no money spenders getting started, I would try running that zone coverage. You'll definitely have a lot more success. That's why I'm going to put Calvin out here because he gets crazy KOs, covers crazy ground still at this point of the year. A little bit expensive, but I do think it's definitely worth adding him to the team. Safety, Darnell Savage. Again, no abilities, but great physicals for a combine card. Next up, Miles Hatter Hattersfield is a little bit of an interesting card you go for about 140 but really good stats 511 great against the run good speed and even does get some pretty decent abilities might be might be some bit of an overpay but still i think this card it might be kind of worth it uh, if you have the coin to kind of spare also there's still um what's his name out there uh, uh sean taylor is a decent option but to me the best free safety option like for coin and value is steve atwater 94 speed with six foot three 217 pounds and can stop the run good zone coverage and also does get some pretty good ko's as well as free pick artists so big w there next up okay this card right here is a bit of an overpay but if you're someone that isn't tied into a theme team 
uh, or like is looking for a user i think ted hendrix for under 200k is a great buy if you can get him for even cheaper than that good for you i mean he's gone for about 160 recently but ted hendrix to me is a card you need like his user his user ability is just so amazing um the way that this man covers ground is insane so if there's one card on here that you're gonna overpay for or spend for it's got to be ted hendrix it just has to be ted uh, in my opinion this card plays insane absolutely insane and to finish off the list we have carmen curl or cameron curl sorry i always mess that up under 100k 95 speed 96 acceleration and then finally kareem jackson okay so as promised here is the team if you are just getting started this team will help you compete you'll be able to compete with the best of the best right now in this game um obviously you might have to get a little bit better at the game if you're just getting started but uh this team was a pretty it's a pretty good start honestly it's a pretty good start for about two million um, you gotta grind out your free black history month solos, but I think these receivers look good to me. Um, Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, I think just better bang for your buck. You can definitely win games still with this card. So hot route master set feet. I just put any fullback in here. Ballora had decent speed, was going for super cheap, so I'd put him in there. But if you actually use a fullback, maybe look for someone else. Uh, but tight end, you can go Logan Thomas, Donnie Parham, Pete Mezzalars. If you don't want to spend for Logan, you can just run Donnie or Pete, or if you don't want to play the solos, just go p and uh, logan it's up to you obviously offensive line we have edge protectors we have threat detectors we have free pullers free nasty streaks tyler linderbaum has crazy speed so the o-line is beautifully constructed on defense i do want to i think i'm going to move down kaylin barnes and i am actually going to use um what's his name stingley so the price is going to go up a little bit but i like the stingley card a lot just his discounted abilities his pick artist is really nice so this is the defense we have 94 speed calvin stingley with 95 speed fabian with 96 speed and good ko's um good edge rush good edge rushers even interior rushers we have lawrence taylor trayvon walker and again you probably don't need to fill all these positions because all you need is one edge rusher on both sides so you really don't technically need montez sweat and lawrence taylor you technically wouldn't really need fletcher cox because cameron jordan can play can play defensive tackle so you know that, those are that's kind of it right there but say do we have cameron curl we have steve atwater darnell savage kareem jackson and of course for the users i do have two options here as well um, ted hendrix of course i really like but um keanu neal is a pretty decent budget option as well so if we were to get rid of ted hendrix um we're at under two million which is a pretty good pretty good for a little bit of a budget team here man and obviously it can get a little bit cheaper but uh yeah this team could definitely win you some games so drop a comment down below what would you change who was snubbed from the team and uh yeah as always i will see you boys in the next one